Hello friends. This is the video in which we will be discussing about remaining bitwise operator. Already we have discussed about bitwise and bitwise or and bitwise XOR operator in the first part. In the second part we will be discussing about bitwise left shift, right shift and bitwise not operator. So if you have not gone through the part 1, you are requested to go through the part 1 and try to understand how we can able to perform the bitwise and bitwise or and bitwise XOR operations. So in this part, we have already seen that bitwise AND operator, bitwise OR and bitwise XOR. It also performs operation on each bit means we need to convert our number into decimal to binary and in binary we are performing this AND, OR and short of operators on each bit of that binary number. Okay, that's why this is known as bitwise operator. So in this particular part, we will be discussing about bitwise shift operator. Now what we mean by bitwise shift? So here you can see the example which we are taking. This is first of all bitwise left shift operator. So two time angular bracket is to be used. The operator is like this two times angular bracket. This is the first operand which is phi and this is the second operand which is 2. So there are three steps. First we need to convert only the first operand. We need to keep in mind that we are only converting the first operand into binary. In bitwise AND, OR and XOR we need to convert both the operands into binary. But in bitwise shift operator, we need to convert only the first operand into binary. Means that which have, we have phi. So binary of phi is what? 101. One. So I have written here 101. One. Then what to do? We need to shift. Means if we look at that if we, we are giving the position. So this is on 0th position. This is on 1st position. This is on second position. If we need to give the position number, so always position number is to be given from right side. So this is position number 0. It is on 0th location. This is on first location and this is on second location. Now all these bits are to be shifted. Shifted it means wo left side shift hone chahiye. Means unki position shift hone chahiye. Now next comes is by how many numbers it is to be shifted? Hum bol rahe ki wo shift honi chahiye to kitni shift honi chahiye? By how many numbers it is to be shifted? So that number is specified by second operand. Here the second operand is 2. It means that each bit is to be shifted by 2 position. Again I repeat, each bit is to be shifted by 2 positions. Means that the digit which is on the 0th location should be there on 2nd location. Which is on 1st location should be there on 3rd location. Which is on 2nd location should be there on 4th location. So now question comes to our mind that how this position can be shifted. What we can do to shift the actual position of each bit. So for that what we are supposed to do we are supposed to add zeros equals to second operand. Since we need to shift it by 2 position, so that 2 is presented by the second operand, what we will be doing? We will be adding zeros equals to the second operand on the right side of the binary value. So this is my binary value 101. Okay, this is the original binary value. Original number is 0th position, 1st position, 2nd position. Now, in step number 2, it was told that you need to add number of zeros. How many zeros equals to the second operand? So, here there are 2. Second operand is 2. So, I need to add 2 zeros. So, I am adding 2 zeros here. And now, I am again numbering these bits. So, now this is on 0th location. This is on 1st location. This is on 2nd location. This is on 3rd location and this is on 4th position. Now you compare this position 
the bit which is on zeroth position is on second position now so you can see the difference it is this particular bit is shifted by two positions the bit which is on first position is on third position now the bit on second position is on fourth position now so if you check out the difference each bit is shifted by two positions how by adding two zeros on the right side so here you can see original binary is 101 i have added two zeros why two zeros because the second operand is 2 so now the resulting resultant binary value is this 10100 but this is not the final answer it is to be converted into decimal it is to be converted into decimal so that if you convert this number into decimal that is equivalent to 20 if you have not seen the video if you are not comfortable with the binary to decimal conversion then you are requested to go through my previous videos the link of which is already there in the description box that will tell you or that will explain you how to convert a decimal into binary and how to convert binary into decimal it has also discussed the concept of binary of a negative number so you can first watch that video and then you again come to this video and continue watching this video because this conversion is more important for understanding this particular aspect okay so in summary what we need to do we need to convert the first operand into binary okay then perform to perform bit wise left shift all this bits are to be shifted which side it is to be shifted it is to be shifted on the left side by how many numbers by second operand that is 2 so by two numbers so how we can do that so we will be adding number of zeros we will be adding add zeros equals to the second operand on the right side of the binary number so here we have added two zeros and so that the resulting value is 10100 and you can see the difference this is the position before and this is the position after this is before shifting this is after shifting this is on zeroth position this is on first position this is on zeroth position previously now it is on second position so difference you can see too so this is how we can able to convert or we can able to perform the bit wise left op a left shift operator but this is not your final answer that is to be converted this your binary number is to be converted into decimal for binary for final answer one shortcut i want to tell you that left shift the left shift operator left shift operator it is equivalent to multi multiplying first operand by 2 how many times second operands times for a second operand times so what i will try to explain this left shift operator other like if we need to see whether the answer which we are getting is correct or not so left shift operator means what it is equivalent to multiplying first operand so here first operand is 5 left shift 2 so first operand is 5 so multiplying the first operand by 2 but how many times we need to multiply it by 2 so second operand times so second operand is 2 to so two times so first of all 5 into 2 that gives you 10 now again 10 into 2 that gives you 20 so if you multiply the first operand by 2 2 times finally i will be getting 20 which is equivalent to the answer which we are getting here so in short we can say bit by shift operator is equals to multiplying first operand by 2 how many times second operand times so that will directly give you the answer okay now we try to understand the concept of left sh right shift operator so right shift operator we need to perform the operation on more or less on similar lines so you can see here this is right shift 
we will be using angular bracket only the direction is on right side so phi right shift 2 so first step is same convert first operand into binary that is 101 so 101 now perform bitwise right shift so for that in left shift we were adding zeros in right shift we will be removing digits removing digits or we can say removing bits how many bits are to be removed equal to the second operand how many so equals to the second operand the second operand is 2 it means that i need to remove two bits now from which side so from right side so that is to be removed from the right side so this is to be removed so ultimately you will be getting 1 but now i am remove why i am removing this so try to understand the logic so our binary number is 101 now if we are giving the position so this is on zeroth position this is on first position this is on second position okay this is before shifting now it is what it is right shift right shift means shifting is to be done from left to right means the bit which is on second position is to be shifted on right side by how many positions so by two positions means the bit which is on second position should be on zeroth position okay so how it is possible so for that what we need to do we need to remove the digits how many equals to second operand so i will be removing these two digits why because the second operand is two so that i am removing two digits so the, now the new binary number i have is one and if i give the position to it so that is zero so position is zero so now you can check the previous position was two now the position is zero means it is shifted by two positions so in left shift we are shifting it by number of digits on in uh, sorry we are shifting it by number of digits on the right side so but it is on shifting on left side but in the right shift operator shifting is to be done on right side so finally here a new binary number you have is one this is not the answer but we can see this is binary one convert into decimal which is equivalent to decimal one so here you can see the answer is one so only the thing is in left shift we are adding zeros in right shift we are removing digits from the right side now in the left shift it is multiplication we have just see that it is multiplication okay multiplication by 2 in right shift it is division division by 2 okay how many time we need to divide so second operand time so we try to understand this so 5 divided by 2 so what is the answer 5 divided by 2 is 2 actually it is 2.5 but it is not uh, both are integer numbers so it will be 2 now i need divide it 2 by 2 so answer is 1 you can see here the answer is 1 which is equivalent to answer which we are getting here so why i have divided this 5 by 2 two times because here it is 2 just we take one another example suppose i have 7 and uh, suppose i i take that 1 okay like it is 7 right shift 1 so binary of 7 is 1 1 1 and right shift by 1 so we need to remove one digit so now new binary number is 1 1 and the equivalent is what so it is 3 it is 3 okay so now we try to understand that since it is division by 2 we are dividing this first operand by 2 so 7 divided by 2 what it will give you it will give you 3 3 divided by 2 it will give you sorry only one time we need to do 
only one time we need to do so 7 divided by 2 why one time because the second operand is 1 so 7 divided by 2 gives you 3 and here also you are getting answer 3 so you can say that bit wise right shift is dividing the first operand by 2 how many times second operand times i hope you clear with this concept now the last bitwise operator is bitwise not bitwise not so bitwise not we have seen in logical not that it inverts the value here more or less similar type of thing is to be performed this is bitwise not operator now it is somewhat tricky so what we do convert the first operand only one operand is there so we are converting it into binary so it is 1 0 1 but we need to represent this number into 8 bit representation so 8 bit representation means we need to add five more zeros to it so now it is in 8 bits this is the binary representation of 5 into 8 bits so this is my binary value now not bit wise not operation so when we convert this value not operation converts what it performs if it is zero then it will be converted into one if it is one it is to be converted into zero this is inversion or we can say that we reverse the value so not performs the operation if the value is 0 0 it is to be converted into 1 if value is 1 it is to be converted into 0 so here our original value is this and we are inverting or by performing the not operation what we need to do it is 1 converted into 0 0 converted into 1 1 into 0 0 into 1 and all zeros are converted into 1 so finally it is 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 this is the binary value which we have brought by performing bitwise not operator on 5 but this is not your answer answer is decimal equivalent of this binary number so decimal equivalent of this binary number so what is that what is that so decimal equivalent of this binary number is minus 6 now you might wonder okay, why it is minus minus 6 how come it is minus 6 so for that you need to understand the concept of binary values for negative number the link is already available in the description box in which you can able to understand how negative number is to be converted into binary i will just tell you why the answer is in binary since this is bitwise operator and again in bitwise operator or in binary representation whenever we are having 8 bits and in that wherever your first like left most bit your left most bit specifies the sign when the sign is 1 it is considered to be negative number and if the sign is if it is that bit is 0 it is considered to be positive number okay so since here the 8th bit is 1 it means this value represent a binary number sorry negative negative number so whenever we are converting this number into its decimal equivalent that gives me minus 6 so the concept is already discussed in the video the link of which is given in the description box you try to go through that how we can convert negative number into binary okay i hope you understood thank you for watching the video